Hey everyone! Um, I just had to take a time out and do this fun little project that I've been dreaming up in my head. And so I thought I'm just gonna do it and make it and video it. So here it is. Um, it comes on four pages and I have right here printed the four pages. So um, I printed the first three on cardstock the ones with tags, just because I like my tags a little heavier. And then this one, I printed on just a regular lightweight computer paper um, because it's going to be more like stickers and some ephemera. But kind of the point behind this was it's going to be beautiful from the front and the back, everything about it. So anyway, what I did is I cut all of the pieces out and there's a million ways these could all come together, but I'm just going to show you what I did. Um, but I've cut them out, inked, and I'm going to kind of show you what I did to put them together. And I'll reference these just in case you want to know which piece. So let's get started. It's quite the fun little piece. All right. So I took the largest tag, which is this one right here, and then the second largest well, the one with journaling space, and that one goes in here, and then a couple of the little pieces of ephemera, and then this piece of ephemera. Um, so that's what I've used here. And what I've done is it's really cool because you can, um, what these are gonna be is they're gonna be folded in half. So they'll be pretty on both sides. But before you glue them in half, you can do your sewing so you don't have to worry about the sewing coming through on the other side. So this one will be folded in half like so. And then this little piece of ephemera right here, I also cut this out and inked and folded it in half, but I glued it right down. So the point is, is it will look like an actual double-sided piece of ephemera just like that. And it's just for journaling. I folded that in thirds to fit in this pocket. Um, and then we also have this little tag. Now this little guy can be glued together. Um, cause I don't think I'm doing anything fancy with this one. So this guy can be glued together. So we have snow here today. And right now there are horses running through the pasture out my window and it is so pretty. Uh, I like the snow when I don't have to <laughs> run lots of errands in it. <laughs> but it is beautiful. All right, so I just glued that one together. And then I think for that one, I'm deciding how I wanna finish it off up here. Let's see, I think I'm going to go ahead and do a crocodile. I need to order more eyelets. I'm running out. All right, let's go ahead and do this color. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and use my bigger hole. And I'm going to come all the way down because I like that little number. I'm eyeballing this, just so you know. It's probably pretty obvious. All right, get my eyelet in there. There we go. And I think I'll just put some sari silk in there. So you'll see the tag is pretty on both sides. Um, so you could actually journal on both sides of this or put a picture or whatever. I like to make my journals not just pretty, but also truly leave the option to journal. Because some people actually journal in their junk journal. <laughs> I like to. All right. You don't have to. It's just I like to make the option. All right. So I think that's completed. You know, I could add another little word or something, but it's cute. All right, 
So that is done. And then this is just one of the pieces from the card. It's just a rectangle. And I just like to have some skinny options just because it adds a little, you know, variety. So there's that one. All right, and on this side, I've just taken one of the journal cards and zigzag stitched it on there. So that piece is done. All right, next I have this card right here. I'm gonna work on this page. So I've cut them all out and inked them and everything. And you'll notice on this one, there's, oh, let me show you. On this one, there's this little extra flap and you will see why. So what I've done is I've taken the journal card and I stitched it on three sides and I put a little layering behind it just cause it's fun. Let me zoom up a little closer for you. And then one of the other little tidbits, I just um, made this into a pocket and I'm just sticking that in there just because it's fun to have the little surprises. So that's all I've done with this one so far. All right, now, the reason I did it this way is because it's going to be pretty. It's going to be on both sides, but I've left this big card open because I'm going to glue this down in here and then it will be invisible when once I glue it all together. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I hope it's time for reals. I think I'll glue on this side since I have that tag on the other side and this will give me extra glue around that stitching. and extra, extra glue over on that side where that flap is gonna go. All right. Let's go ahead and put that in. And I think I want it lined up with the bottom. So let's line that up before I glue it all. Here we go. All right, squish that down really good. And that is ready. And this one can also be glued shut. Let's go ahead and do that now. Here we go. And if you notice something isn't lined up perfect, like right up here, then you can come back and trim and ink. So I'll do that later, but it'll be easy. So. This is what we've got so far. All right, now, I took a couple of the pieces from, let's see, here's one of them. I took one of the little stickers. Anyway, just a couple of these pieces and I've collaged them to make a pocket. Now this one, you'll notice it hangs over the edge. That's just cause I'm gonna hang it over the other side cause I didn't want all of it on there, but I thought, oh, that's really cute when it comes around and you can see it on both sides. So um, I went ahead and did it with that option in mind. And, but for this one, I'm gonna need my Fabri-Tac um, to attach around those three sides of that pocket because I, I mean, I could have sewn it on before, but I just didn't and it worked out this way, so. All right, there we go. Now we have our little front pocket and it folds around the side. All right. Cute, cute, cute. Let's get my crocodile out of the way. All right. Now I think up here, I'm gonna use my Fabri-Tac for now. I'll come back in later and sew my little lace on here. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and glue it in place with Fabri-Tac. I just wanted a cute little lace top for this. So this is kind of like a really chunky, fun piece. I mean, this could be used as a standalone piece or it could be used as kind of like a really wow piece in tucked inside of a pocket in an entire journal. So it's kind of up to you. 
All right, and then this little guy gets glued down on the other side. I think, I think, I think. I hope I'm remembering all the fun little things I had. Oh, you know what? I was going to glue this down in here. Maybe I'll just do, clip it and do it on the side. Let's do that. Because I just wanted something a little extra right here. We'll just cut it about here. And go ahead and glue that down. So it's just kind of fun because the pieces are really versatile and you can kind of just create it however you want it to end up. So fun little project. All right, that's good. All right, now I've taken this little guy right here and took it out, cut it, inked, and I thought I'm gonna leave this open because you can have some fun journaling on the inside of that. I um, So just a little thing up top, but I'm gonna leave it right like that, except I had this idea when I was putting everything together. You know how sometimes when you're just putting it together and then you're like, oh, I could do that instead and it would work like this. Well, anyway, I had one of those moments. So I have this fun little strip right here and it is coming around. It'll just be decoration on the inside that will kind of anchor it in place. I think I need to bring it up just a hair higher. There we go, maybe. All right, there we go. And then on the front side, I'm going to just use Fabri-Tac on that outside edge right here. And that will create a tiny little band. And then this guy is just gonna slide right in there. So it creates a fun little collage, but it's also an extra little secret journaling spot. So super fun. All right. And then that goes in the very front cover right here in this pocket that we have created. Oh, I'm a little nervous that glue is not quite dry yet. Maybe I'll give it another minute. Well, it works. Okay, so there we go. And there's a couple little extra bits left over from the pages that you could put in other, oh, I gotta glue this guy down. That you could put in other locations. Um, let's see, Let's. I have this little stampy thing. I like it right there. Or I have this one. Ooh, I kinda like that more neutrally. I think we're gonna go with the more neutrally look for it. Um, and I also have a fun little, oh, I don't know how to speak. Is it French? Piece de resistance. <laughs> I'm horrible. I don't know. But that kind of cherry on top, that's maybe a better term. Um, but I just had a couple little of these, and I wanted to see if, I mean, that's pretty bold. And it kind of is more industrial grunge. So I think... I would go with this cute little, can you see that little dangle that I made? Um, but I think, I think it would go good right here. So I just have a little jump ring and I can just put that right through that little knot. Maybe, yep, there it is. And then clamp that down and have kind of a little dangle up there at top just to give it the exclamation point, I guess. All right, so we'll give you the quick final run through. But we have this little tag here, opens up for journaling and with the little extra spot right there. And that gets tucked into this front pocket right here on the page with this collage. And that flips right open and both sides are pretty. Um, some extra journaling there. And that little pull out right there. Um, and then we have this little collage. Inside this big pocket we have the double-sided journaling tag. The little folded bit of ephemera. And this little guy. Oh, I should ink the back. Um, and those go in this big pocket right here. 
And all of this could be glued if you really wanted, but I sewed a lot of it beforehand just because I like, I like the look of it. And then on the back of there, we have one more little journaling spot or picture spot or whatever. So anyway, really fun project. Turned out really pretty. And I'm excited to keep working with these papers and the embellishments that go with them because I'm hoping to get a whole journal made using them. So anyway, I hope you all have an awesome day and just enjoy all of your fun crafting and Christmas preparation. And I hope you're all doing so good. So thank you for watching. We'll talk to you later.